Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I wanna show you how to sort a list of dictionaries in Python. So this may come in handy if you have some data that is represented by a dictionary and you put that with similar data into a list and you wanna sort that list uh, in a particular direction on some key in one of those dictionaries. So in these dictionaries, I have a name key, a join date key, and an age key. And all three I can actually sort on if I wanted to. So I'll show you two ways to do this, and they're both pretty similar in the sense that they both sort the list in the same way, but what they return is different. So one will sort the list as it exists, so it really won't return anything, it will just mutate the existing list. And the second approach will return a new list and it will keep the original list the same. So for both of these, I'll need to import something called the item getter, and this is from operator. So from operator import item getter. And I don't think this is the best name, but it does make sense what it's going to do. It's basically going to get an item from something. So let me just show you how this works very quickly start up a Python REPL and I'll create a very simple dictionary. Um, I'll call this um, user and we'll have a name and then we'll have, let's use age just like in the example. There we go. So I have the user dictionary here. And what I want to do is I want to create a function that will allow me to get something out of this dictionary. So to do that using item getter, what I do is I create a variable and this variable is actually going to represent a function, which we'll see in a second. So I'll just call this F for function and then item getter. And what I do is I pass in a key. So if I want to get name, I pass in name and I forgot to import it so from operator import item getter and then I'll do the same thing so f equals item getter name so as you can see I haven't actually used my user dictionary yet I just use item getter with name so the way this works is item getter with the key that I'm interested in will return a function that allows me to get that key out of whatever I pass to this function so if I take f as the function and I pass in user it will give me the name out of that dictionary. And I can do the same thing for the age. So G of user will give me the age. So it's kind of weird to think about initially, but that's what's happening. It's just returning a function that you can then use with the actual object that you're interested in. So the reason why I had to show you that is because to sort this, you're going to use something called a key. So the first way to sort is sorting the list in place. So I'll say users.sort. And what I want to do is I want to supply a key. So the key is basically what Python is going to sort on. So if I just do sort and then print users, we'll see what happens here. it tells me that as unorderable types, uh, it cannot compare two dictionaries to each other. So the key is, so Python knows what in the dictionary should be used to sort the lists. So by using the key, I then use this item getter, which remember is going to return a function that will look for a particular key inside of a dictionary. So if I want to sort by the age key, this is going to return a function that will look for an age key in a particular dictionary. So the way this key works in the sort is for each item in the list is going to pass that item to this function, which remember gets returned from item getter. So it's not the item getter function itself, but it's the function returned by item getter and it's going to call it and then it's going to sort based off the results of that. So when this gets called, it's going to give me the individual ages out of each dictionary. So when I do this now, I see the youngest age I have here is 15. And then if you just look here, the ages are increasing and the oldest is 65, which is right. If I want to reverse the order, I just do reverse equals true. And then I'll run this again. And then we see Jeff here is 65 
and then 15 is the youngest, so it appears last. And of course, I don't have to use the age, I can use a join date. And then we see that Earl appears first, so December 30th, 2018, and the oldest one is from January 1st, 2017. And if you look at all of the dates, then you see that it's in descending order. So this particular example sorts the list in place. So you're calling the sort method on your users list. If you want to return a new list, then you use the sorted function. So sorted, pass in users, and then you pass in key again. So this part becomes the same. Item getter, and then join date. And then I'll have reverse equals true. So pretty much everything is the same, but instead of calling a method on your list, you're using this function and you're passing your list to it. So sorted users equals sorted. So now if I print users, and let me clear this out so it's easier to see, we see that nothing has changed with the list because I'm not printing out the sorted list. But as soon as I print out the sorted list, I now see the ordered list here. So both sorted and the sort method work pretty much the same. The only difference is really the first argument. And technically, because this is a method, the first argument is the instance of users. So in a sense, it's the first argument for both. But you know, slightly different way of doing it. So if you wanna keep the list the same, use the sort method. If you wanna return a new list that is sorted, then use the sorted function. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to do this. Um, this can come in handy if you have data that is represented by a dictionary or just something that has these keys in it that you can uh, get the data out of. Something like a name tuple would work as well. So that's all I want to cover in this video. Uh, just as, as a reminder, if you want to go to my website and check out the video courses that I have, you can. It's at prettyprinted.com. There's going to be a link in the description. And I basically just do Python videos for now. In the future, I'll do more, but everything on my site is Python only. So you can check those out. I have a bunch of free videos on there if you want to view them. Um, if you have any questions about what I did in this video today, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.